Well, welcome back to NRM 638, Python Scripting for ArcGIS Applications, Spring Semester 2015. In this session, we're going to do a simple Python script, and we're going to start by going to the Blackboard website. So if you have your web browser open, go to classes.uaf.edu, and then log in using your University of Alaska username and password. Okay, so I'm going to log in using my student account. And then once you're logged in, you'll see My Courses. And what you want to do is go to NRM 638 GIS Programming and click on that link. And from this website, you'll be able to download the scripts that we're going to use in this class. So if we go to this panel, Python Scripts, and then go into this folder, Week 1 Python Basics. And then if you right mouse click, we can save this. Our first text file is actually a Python script. So right mouse click and save link as and save that to your own computer. I'm going to save it to CNRM338, NRM638, excuse me, and then Week 1. And I'm going to save it to that folder. Okay, so it was saved to my folder, so then on my computer, if I go to that folder location, it's simply a text file. So we could open it up using Notepad or WordPad, and this is basically the text file. So we've got the Python interpreter ignores any line that has a pound sign on it. So it's going to ignore this line, it's going to ignore this line, and then it's going to try to execute this line and then it'll ignore this blank line and ignore this pound sign line that's a comment and then I'll try to execute this line. So what we're going to do is change the extension from .txt to .py in order to use this as a Python script. So we'll simply right mouse click and rename and rename it as a .py file. So this is our first Python script so we're going to run it using an editor which is installed with ArcGIS. So if you go to the Start menu and then Programs, and we want to go to ArcGIS and then Python 2.7 and then IDLE. So then that brings up this shell which was installed when you installed ArcGIS 10.2 on your computer. So then we'll simply open this first script.py. So file, open, and then we browse to the location where we saved it. So here's our first script, and we can open it. Okay, so this is the script, and it's being interpreted by IDLE, and that's basically it's an editor. And what it does is it color codes all the lines that are going to be ignored in red, so these are the lines that have a pound sign, and then it shows you valid Python commands in purple in this example, and then strings will be in green. So this is not a valid Python command. So this is typically what we do in Python scripting is we check for what are called syntax errors. So to check for syntax errors we would just go run check module and it comes back and it says there's an error in your program invalid syntax so then if we say okay this is the line that has the error that has incorrect syntax and the incorrect syntax is that this is not a Python command it doesn't understand print because it's an uppercase P not a lowercase P which is the correct syntax so let's change that to a lowercase P and then we'll save our work. So save, and then we'll check once again for syntax. So check module. So this time there were no syntax errors. So then we could run the module, and we may get a runtime error. So right now it understands this is a valid command, a valid Python command. This is a valid Python command. Let's try running this script. So run module. And it comes back and it says, 
it prints this message, it prints this message, and then we have a runtime error at line six. So name n is not defined at line six. So we might have a large script. So if we had a large script, we could go edit, go to line or alt G. So go to line six, which is where our runtime error occurred. So here's line six, and that's where the runtime error occurred. And what happened was n is what's called a variable, and right now it has not been defined. So that was the runtime error. So what we could do is we can create that variable n and give it some value. So we'll give it a value. It could be a number or it could be a string. So we'll give it a string, a text string. And we'll say valid text, whatever you want to call it. And then we'll run our module. And it says, oh, you forgot to save it. So let's save it first. And then we run it and there's no runtime errors. So basically the first print statement prints out this message enclosed in double quotes. And then the next print statement prints out this is correct and then valid text because valid text was inside this variable called n. Okay, so go back to the Blackboard website and there'll be a quiz question that will lead you to the next video session. So if we go back to Blackboard, go to this folder, quiz questions, and then inside the folder, week one quiz questions, and then the first quiz question. So we'll begin the first quiz question and it simply says, copy and paste the following Python script lines into a .py file on your computer. And how many syntax errors are there on your, in your Python script? So here's what we need to copy and paste. So I go Control C, copy it. And then I can go to my computer and make a new text file. So new text document, and I'll call it test. And then I'll paste, so edit, paste, and then file, save. So then we'll rename this to test.py. And then the question is, how many syntax errors are in that test.py script? And if you're correct in Blackboard, once you answer this question correctly, it will lead you to a link to the next video session.